Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we're actually going to look at some of my stats right before I hit my 8th prestige. So I'm prestige 7, top rank, um, and I know a lot of a lot of people out there are way ahead of me in terms of rank. Um, but we're going to be looking at some of my stats here. So first we're going to go to my barracks, and look at this, I've got 22,854 kills. I think I might actually have more in Black Ops 2, and I got that one a while after the game came out. But anyways, 1.65 KD. A lot of you are going to have a better one than that, but it's still pretty solid. 0 0.99 win-lose. 325 score per minute. 509 wins. And overall, 3,017,320 score. So, a couple of the more interesting medals here. Three Relentless, uh, 1,990 headshots. Two Mega Kills. Eight Rapid Strikes, 133 from the Shadows. Um, I don't have many bank shots. I haven't really used the uh, Tomahawk or the Combat Axe in this one much. But here's the Three Relentless, which is 20 kills without dying. Uh, two Mega Kills, which is seven chained together uh... one super kill which is six chained together five frenzy kills which is five chained together and a bunch of other medals through here All right. so let's look at our challenges and i'm at fifty four percent complete um, here's my near completion i'm kinda glad they uh... put this in here so i can look and say well let's work on this challenge for today or whatever and uh, try to complete those so I completed all the challenges for battery and we'll look at the specialists here in a second um, but I didn't do enough to complete all of the uh, challenges for the calling cards so overclock I don't run much I ran it uh, whenever the specialist ability and weapons was part of the contract for the week and the daily um, Thermite I don't use much. Uh, I haven't played Capture the Flag like at all. I've played a little bit of Uplink, mainly whenever it's part of a contract. Uh, the Dart. Melee kills, and a lot of those actually came from the Ripper. I'm glad they count those, because otherwise I would not be very far along with that. Scavenger, a lot of those came up recently because I've been playing with the uh, NX Shadow Claw, the crossbow. That one's kind of fun. I might do a gameplay of that soon. And Rejack is one of the most irritating ones to use. Because so many people are so used to it at this point, you're dead before you can do anything after you hit Rejack. Alright. <clears throat> so, I haven't actually played through the whole campaign. It's kind of funny. And I also haven't played much Zombies. I played a little bit with a friend of mine. So let's look at our specialists. Um, so we'll start at Ruin. I've completed all of his challenges. Um, so with his overdrive ability, this is the way he is set up right now. This is the samurai body. I like the kukri on his back there. And then the rabid uh, head. That I got in a recent supply drop video. But here's all of that. I completed all of his challenges. Uh, same with Outrider. I'm running the Angel of Death for the body and Matador for the head. Both of those, again, from Supply Drops. All the challenges completed here. <clears throat> all right. So that's basically the same with all of them, except for Nomad. I still need to get... <laughs> here's his crazy... Set up the druid head and the geist body. So I still need to get double kills after using Rejack. I haven't really played with him much. Uh, I think I prestiged before I completed the challenge or something like that. Um, and just haven't gotten back to it because of how irritating Rejack is. Um, I'm working on Reaper right now. I haven't completed all the kills for him yet. Um... I just recently completed Spectre. He was the last one I completed and got all the challenges done for him. Unlocked the Chameleon set. And Firebreak I completed 
one of my last prestiges. He was one of the easiest ones to complete, uh, even getting the double kills after using the heat wave. Um, but yeah, there's all my uh, there's all my specialists, and let's hit this prestige. So go into my barracks. Awards available. Inner prestige eight. I kind of like how they used some of the legendary uh, or mythical creatures uh, in for the prestige emblem. So here's the kraken. Um, I think the one right now is a griffin. Yeah. Um, so let's do it. Inner prestige eight. Congratulations. And now we rank all the way up again. Let's choose one permanent unlock real quick. All right, so I decided to pick uh, Reaper, one of either his ability or his weapon. I'll probably probably go with the weapon on this one, um, but mainly so I can continue working on uh, all of the challenges related to this specialist. All right, there we go. Now there's one more thing I'm going to look at real quick under challenges. These are the closest to being fully completed. So the specialist killjoys are at 92% until I get the uh, special calling card down there. I need five more. Uh, I need to stop five more specialist abilities using an EMP grenade. So I'm halfway to that one. And then specialist weapons. I just need to do the scythe. So I've completed. I've gotten all of these for all of the all of the uh, specialist weapons alright so I'm gonna jump into some games and rank up and I will end the video here Stonewall signing off see you in another video